Hello, I'm Stephen Grant, and I work at a gift shop at the Museum of Natural History. And I'm Mark Spector. I'm a mercenary, and I kill people. Bloody hell, who is that? Get out of my head. I may be a bumbling idiot and work in a gift shop, but I know everything about Egyptology. Makes sense, right? Mark Spector, manly man. Me no read books, know nothing about Egypt. Seriously, who are you? Get out of my head. Anyway, who are those blokes? What are they doing here? They look like they're up to no good. They are up to no good, Steven. They're gonna kill everybody. You gotta give me control of the body now so we can show them who's boss and kick their ass. No way, you're a bloody killer. You're not getting this body. It's my body. Besides, I can defeat them with my bumbling idiot kung fu. That's not gonna work. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't even hold a gun. We're definitely going to die. I think we died. Welcome back to Super Radio Brother Highlights Movie Reviews. It's a television show. The final episode of Moon Knight. Final episode of the season, of the series. We're not sure because Disney has not yet made a commitment for a season two. If you like the series, of course, you're really hoping for a season two. If not, you could probably live without it. Maybe Moon Knight makes a guest appearance in another Marvel entity. Let's hope we at least get that. If you've been watching my videos so far, you know this has been a woefully disappointing series for me. It mostly focused on that bumbling idiot, I like to call him, Stephen Grant, who is the weakest character on the show, yet he got the most screen time. Um, let's, and let's be honest, the Stephen Grant character is a very comfortable and safe character for Disney. That's where they went, and that was their first mistake for this series so far. So, And also, the other big mistake was going into the final episode. You only had 10 minutes of Moon Knight on screen, and that was disappointing as a Moon Knight fan. In the final episode, Gods and Monsters, Mark, well, Mark Spector, he abandons paradise. He's about to enter heaven after being shot dead in the fifth episode by Arthur Harrow. He's about to get into heaven and he abandons paradise to rescue what? His fractured mind. He had to rescue Stephen Grant for some reason. Uh, so you go, that didn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's what happened. So he abandons paradise to rescue his fractured mind. And of course, to go save the world from Arthur Harrow, who's about to steal every soul that has an unbalanced heart and feed it to the giant Ahmed, which I uh, honestly, I thought was really cool. I thought the giant alligator evil God looked really cool in this show, um, in the final episode. And you did get a really cool uh, final act the big battle, right, where you had the moon, you had, moon, we finally get Moon Knight on the screen, right, fighting alongside with Mr. Knight, because now Mark Spector and uh, Stephen Grant love each other, and the new superhero, the Scarlet Scarab, that's of course Layla, the love interest, and she's now an avatar of another Egyptian god, and she's become the Scarlet Scarab, so they're all fighting together against Arthur Harrow and his minions, while you get the Godzilla King Kong giant fight between Khonshu and Ahmet, which looked really cool as well. So I dug all of that, but it was too short. It was like five minutes long. We, we got this long series, six episodes, and you only get five minutes of the best part of the series, which was that cool big battle at the end there. And then it ends incredibly disappointing with the, they bring back the blackout from the first two episodes where Stephen Grant kept blacking out and everybody's all everybody's beaten up already. We don't even get to see Arthur Harrow defeated. We, we have this dumb blackout scene, which is actually, you know, obviously a clue that Jake Lockley snuck in there because both Stephen Grant and, and uh, uh, Mark Spector, they both black out. Jake Lockley, apparently he defeated Arthur Harrow. And, and it was just a, a lazy, horrible way to end a big action sequence. Uh, and I, I think the end credit scene was the best of the entire series where you do get that Jake Lockley reveal. And uh, it turns out he's been working with Kanshi the whole time and he shoots Arthur Harrow, presumably dead, I'm not sure, but that was pretty cool. Nice little twist at the end of it. So um, as I said, as a whole, the series was woefully disappointing. This was the best entry of all six episodes. I'll give it a good score. I'll say seven out of 10 for Moon Knight episode six, Gods and Monsters. 
Uh, if you want to look at it holistically, all six episodes, look at it as a, you know, a five-hour movie, whatever the, the final run time would be. Not very good to me, very disappointing. I thought this was an opportunity for Disney to really enter the horror realm and give us a different kind of story. Instead, we got Stephen Grant slash Peter Parker. So overall, for the entire series, I am going to say five out of ten for Moon Knight on Disney+. Plus. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. we got a lot more coming at you. I'll see you in the highlights.